Hey Facebook, it's Katrina Sawa here, and I'm doing a quick Facebook Live because, well, um, <laughs> I put this challenge on. I actually put this challenge out in one of my groups that I belong to, and uh, I'm a trainer in this group, so I'm a, a marketing, a trainer on marketing uh, topic, and we were talking about Facebook Lives and doing more Facebook Lives and getting yourself out there and other types of videos and stuff, and I was telling them how easy it can be to just do it and you know just pull off the band-aid and just be impromptu and say what's on your heart and then I was done and then I thought well I should have a challenge you should see like challenge everybody in the group to do one Facebook live a week for the month of January and then I, as I was posting that this big old long instructions on what to do I said oh that means I'm gonna have to do it too <laughs> so here I am I thought uh, it would so I put a post out the other day. And I said, well, what do you guys want to hear about? And, you know, I can share practical, tactical things about business and marketing and all that kind of stuff. And some people gave me some ideas. But you know what I'm going to talk about today? I want to talk about love. And the reason I'm going to talk about love today is because it's a huge part of my life that I hardly ever talk about. And it's come up for um, probably four or five of my clients or people that I've spoken with in the last five days. Yes. It has come up like so much just in the last few days. It's ridiculous. The topic of love. And, and I talk about love in so many different ways, which is why I put the description, love for self, love with others, love for your life, love for what you're doing, uh, love and passion in general, right? And, and uh, love in a relationship and having love, giving love. I mean, there's lots of different ways to look at love, right? And I mean, I have a book about love, Love Yourself Successful. Right? And I've been talking about love, love and money, uh, and the four types of love since, um, since 2008. And um, it comes up a lot in conversations, frankly, when I'm doing business coaching and marketing coaching, because people either don't do what I've asked them to do or told them to do, uh, like go do videos, right? Well, they don't feel like they look good enough or they're not good enough or they have imposter syndrome and who's gonna listen to them and yada yada. And that's just a lack of confidence, right? We know it. And so I want to talk today about love, though, um, in your relationships. And um, because it seems like, I don't know, a lot of people have been reflecting over the holidays. Um, the people that I've been talking to, there's some people struggling right now with being uh, either in a relationship and struggling with that relationship or they want one so desperately, not desperately in that sense of the word, but like they don't ha haven't had a love in their life for a long time. And that breaks my heart. It totally breaks my heart. I want to see people who are in love, uh, enjoying love, being loved and adored. And uh, one thing I say in my events all the time uh, is stop settling. We cannot settle. There's so many things, notes I wanted to say about this. Um, um, but what, uh, hmm. the, so there's a lot of different things in regards to doing, you know, looking at your love life, I would say. And if, uh, I just did an interview, in fact, on a, on a series, it's called The Secrets to Extraordinary Love. And it's all about how to either enhance the relationship you currently have and, uh, or find the person that you're meant to be with that's really, um, the perfect person for you and thankfully I have found that it took me uh, it took me a while it took me until I was 42 years old to find the man who is super loving and adoring and supportive and totally gets my crazy brain wanting to do this and that and uh, and invest in this and that and go here and that and hi Melinda hi hey Melissa check um, but you know I've I've not I've made mistakes in love along the way and I've learned from um, these mistakes I've also even done a lot of training in regards to love and relationships and it's amazing how a lot of people don't do that like right just like you need a business coach to learn how to do the things you need to do to run your business you might need some love coaching for example you know and that's not necessarily something I do but I, I do it with clients who I'm working with but and there's some great love coaches out there so if you're a love coach you know comment on the thing but uh, I had to go through some relationship 
courses to really understand more about um, who I needed to be to attract the right kind of person that I wanted because I had the laundry list of 43 things that I wanted in a relationship when I was in the dating world right and uh, it, it I found somebody but it just wasn't the right person and I realized who I was being was not the person who I was going to attract the perfect guy I um, I won't go into what I was doing but I had to learn how to really look at um, how to be in that relationship the way I wanted to be in that relationship and I had to do a lot of learning around that so it's just recently just I mean God just in this last week I'm telling you I've given my love yourself successful book or the teleseries that I did or I've been talking or coaching with somebody around this topic because they're either in a crappy relationship or just got out of one and they're still recovering from the mental trauma or they're been searching for somebody and they felt lonely um, you know even in my own mother you know she was just visiting here for the holidays and and her husband died almost four years ago and uh, she's finally expressed to me well I'm kind of lonely and I wouldn't mind some companionship right and you know she's 76 I have clients who are in their 70s it's just all over the board and all I know is is that if you are not in a really loving like a hundred percent loving not like oh yeah I support you honey and then treat you like shit or oh yeah I um, you can do whatever you want or I love you and then oh by the way you're fat you know there's there's people out there that will say they love you or say they support you but then they do the opposite things or they negate that with some negative behavior and I've been in those relationships but not very long because I don't settle for that kind of crap and I don't want you to settle for that either because that is not true love and I want to see every I mean the world would be a much bigger better place if we were all totally in love right if everybody was totally in love like wouldn't it be a better place love is really the key to all of it and I fully believe that and which is why I still do events and stuff love and money live it's coming up in April um, but I wanted to bring this up today because uh, number one, I had a challenge to talk about stuff. Number two, love is really important. And so if you're shoving your relationship aside or shoving the fact aside that you want to be in a relationship and you're just focusing on your business because you thought, well, I'm not getting anywhere over here, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. Or I'm gonna push it aside or I'm gonna avoid, avoid it for now and I'm just gonna focus over here, then I would urge you to rethink that because as soon as you put a little effort towards your love life and and love in general and having more love in your life I think you're gonna see I know you're gonna see a lot more success in your business a lot more money coming in you'll be happier you did that and it's time to really embrace what you fully want it's time to set those boundaries and put those must-haves out there and if you're in a relationship and it's not the perfect relationship and it's uh, in fact you look through you know look at the relationship you're in you don't have to stay in any relationship life is too short what if you live until you're 95 what if you live until you're 95 seriously are you if you're 45 or 55 or even 65 years old that could be 35 amazing years if unless you stay with the person that's not the one for it, not the one that's making you happy. You don't have to settle. I don't care how old you are and what circumstance you have. You need to really take charge of your life and you can design the rest of your life however you want it to be. It's a decision. It is a decision. Don't worry about the money. Like I get that sometimes like we rely on, well, there's two incomes here. If I leave, then I'm stuck and la la la. I mean, your happiness is so much more important than that. You can create whatever it is you want. If you can just believe that you deserve to have that love in your life and do the right things to get to where that could be. And so you have to ask for what you want. First, you have to be clear on what you want. So do some brainstorming on it. I have a whole... Uh, I have a whole, my Love Yourself Successful Tableau series actually will help you do that. 
but so will this um, the secrets to extraordinary love thing and that's free and I'll put the link in the comments when I'm done to that but that one is is starting soon uh, I just sent an email about it today if you're on my email list but um, there's a lot of different love experts they share all their different kinds of stories and tips and stuff and that could be a great place to get started you know you really have to reevaluate and stop settling evaluate what you want Figure out if you're surrounding yourself with the right people or if you need new people and how you're going to make a plan to make a change in your life because it's a decision and you're worth it. So there you go. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for listening and hopefully this is helpful and we'll talk to you soon.